Hi guys, Anna here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into this video. What I'm going to be doing today is grabbing that bicycle, that, no, neither of those helmets actually, and none of those shoes, um, <laughs> getting my kit on and taking you to the trail that I built during lockdown. So I've already made a video about my trail, um, about the building of it, but it was a really long bit of a rubbish video because I just filmed everything. I had the GoPro on the side for like three months and yeah anyway uh, so you might have seen the building of it but now I want to show you exactly what it's like to ride and tell you a little bit about my thoughts of it why I created it like I have I keep saying me as if it was all me uh, my husband did help a little bit but it's mostly my brainchild and um, show you what it's like to ride so stay with me and let's go right I'm kitted up ready to go but the first thing I wanted to do was let you know a little bit about my thoughts behind the place. Again, this is something that I've mentioned before, I think, on previous videos. I can't even remember what I say. I talk such rubbish half the time. But this isn't rubbish. This is quite important. And first up, I've never dug trails before, but I have learnt my craft of mountain biking on trails dug by other people. Mostly, to be fair, in the Surrey Hills. So big up to those guys whose trails basically taught me mountain biking I'm so grateful for all the hours and hard work that they've put in and and now I know how hard it actually is I'm even more grateful and down here in southern Spain I've been riding other people's trails the whole time so I feel like maybe it's my turn to give back and I love it I don't know if I like digging now a little bit more than I like riding it's it's actually possible I find it so therapeutic I just it's like a creative thing to do because your brain just starts seeing lines and when you go to bed at night you start imagining what it's going to be like and you can kind of feel it in your body. God, that sounds hippie. But it's true. And it's also, it's physical work so it's really satisfying and you're out in nature as well so what's not to love? What I want from these trails is, because it's next to the house, it's never going to be long, it's not a long trail. I just want something that I can practice. There's loads of amazing natural trails around here in Andalusia. Ah, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> Swap sides. So I want something that's a little bit different. Uh, we've got berms and we've got jumps and they're all very smooth and there really isn't anything other than pretty much natural around here. Southern Spain things don't hold up very well, the land gets dry really easily and it's all just kind of rocks, rocks and dust and rocks. So we've, we've built something a little bit different, we know that it's going to take a fair amount of maintenance and the other weekends we also spent our time with a big gang of friends which is awesome that I now have friends because that was a problem when I first moved to Spain but now I've actually got friends and those guys came over and helped fill in the gaps of the jumps because what I want is that it's a place that anyone who comes along isn't frightened to give things a try. You know, it's a progressive place. That's how I learnt mountain biking and I want to be, my trails to be open to all. Not that really anyone's going to come down here, like I say, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Hey, dogger! <laughs> She's so cool. Uh, so it's not a proper place that people will come to, but if anyone wants to, they are welcome. Um, because I've always been made welcome, and on a couple of occasions, I haven't been made welcome. Particularly talking about some guys in, oh, where was it, El Cabale, some jumps here. They're really big, they're proper dirt jumps, and they're really scary, and they totally terrified me. And I put some pallets in the middle of them, and I, I basically got trolled on Instagram. I don't even know which of the guys it was that was telling me that I shouldn't have done it but instead of just like speaking to me face to face and being like oh if you're scared and you really want to put a pallet there do you mind like I don't know reshaping it afterwards or something which I'd be happy to do but no it was it was just a disgusting attitude you know I sort of kind of get no dig no ride but I also think if someone turns up and they're keen to get into the sport and they don't know anything about it don't force them to pick up a shovel don't force them to dig make them feel welcome Show them that our sport is awesome and then in time, yeah, some people will drop out but others will filter through and become a core part of the gang and those will be the people that are digging long into the future. And you know, you can make some friends, which is always nice. So yeah, that's my attitude for these trails. Right now, I'm going to get Juan on the GoPro behind me. He's going to film it. I think it's about a couple of minutes up and maybe 20 seconds down. But once we've filmed it, we'll know for certain.
Right, now you've seen the follow cam. Thanks, Instagram, by the way. I didn't even know about that chin cam. Chin, 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 chin. Didn't even know about that chin cam. Chin, oh my God, that is so hard to say. I challenge you to say chin cam three times. Chin cam, chin cam. Oh, that is really hard. Um, anyway, I didn't even know about that chin cam option until Instagram told me. So, hope you enjoyed that. And now I'm going to film it from the side and you can see, gives you a bit of an idea of really what it's like to ride. That's it, it's so much fun. So that's my little trail. What do you think of it? This is my little spot and I'm gonna be building so much more over winter as well. There's nothing more satisfying than riding your own trail. I love it. There's no trails like this in Andalusia. You know, that sort of bike park feel with maintained berms and jumps. You know, it's all quite small, but it's all kind of perfectly sculpted. And basically around here, it's so dry, it's really difficult to maintain anything like that. Um, keep the water on it, keep it up. Dale Jake. Dale Jake. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Está bien, está bien. Puta máquina, tío. Espera, espera, espera. ¿Está bien? Our trails don't actually have a name yet. We just say like the pista, la pista. Do you want to go down to la pista? So, if anyone's got any ideas for names, I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions and if I like it, I might as well just call it that. So maybe my trails will be given your name. They're gonna be called like Bob or something, aren't they? <laughs> and maybe I'll paint a little sign and put it up as well, and then I'll send you the photograph. So yeah, any name suggestions, let me know in the comments.